And finally, everybody, what I'd like to propose to you, perhaps as my final and most important conclusion, Dorothy Day was a woman of the church. She loved being a Catholic. She loved the Catholic Church. I'm not talking about some nebulous, generic church. She loved the one holy, Catholic, apostolic, Roman church. Now, this is particularly appropriate for us today. We celebrate today the feast in the sacred liturgy of the dedication of St. John Lateran in Rome. Why do we as Catholics celebrate the, church, the feast of the dedication of a church? Well, because that church, St. John at the Lateran Gate, is a cathedral. It's the cathedral of the Bishop of Rome, the Pope. And as such, it's a symbol of the universality, the Catholicity, and the apostolic dimension of the faith we love. Dorothy Day loved the Catholic Church. She was proud to be a Catholic. I say that today, folks, and I think you'll agree with me, because perhaps the greatest pastoral challenge you and I face today as Catholics is to try to respond to those who want Christ without his church and their name is Legion, all right? People today don't have trouble with Jesus. They got tons of problems with his church and they prefer to have Christ without his church. For Dorothy Day, for us as Catholics, no can do. Jesus and his church are one. As Henri de Lubac would say, a theologian whom she loved very much, what would I ever know of him, meaning Jesus, without her, meaning his church? Now, listen closely. Dorothy Day was acutely aware of the flaws of the church. She loved the mystical body, but she knew the mystical body had warts galore. I was in Rome just 10 days ago, and as ever, I like to visit the Cathedral of Rome, the Church of St. John at the Lateran Gate. Today's the feast of its dedication. So I go up to visit St. John Lateran, and there is scaffolding all over the place, worse than St. Patrick, all right? Scaffolding all over the place. And I think again how appropriate, because Ecclesia Semper Reformanda, the church is always in need of reform. Dorothy would tell us that. You listen to the reading tonight from the book of Revelation? We call in that reading the New Jerusalem, which is the church, the spotless bride of Christ. Yet as Dorothy Day said, quote, one of her saltier quotes, and Lord knows there are an abundance of them, Yes, the church is the spotless bride of Christ, but at other times, she's the whore of Babylon. All right? Dorothy was well aware of the flaws, the wounds, the imperfections, the ugly side of the church, but she loved the church all the more. Like Ronald Rollheiser, one of her fans would say, the church is always Christ, crucified between two thieves. Dorothy Day loved the one holy Catholic and apostolic church. She was proud to be a Catholic. She was a great church woman.